The personal statement is the first chance admission students get to have a glimpse into your life, your passions, your motivation, and to know what drives you to success. There is no default way of writing a personal statement, as everyone's experience and personality are different. Throughout the years, students have thought about ways to make them stand out and what activities they should include in their personal statements that feel unique and even groundbreaking. They would often talk really, really highly of themselves in their essay to showcase all their incredible achievements and results. This often works, but could sometimes also bring in a lot of cliches. Tutors are simply looking for your deep desire to pursue a degree in your chosen subject and why you think you would be a good fit. If you check these boxes, everything should go smoothly. My name is Joanna and I have just finished my first year studying mathematics at the University of Oxford. In this video, I want to show you how I structured my personal statement and what general tips I have that could ease your way into writing a killer essay. I have made another video like one year ago where I read my personal statement, so if you want to see that, you can check out the video which is linked right now in the cards, or you can access it later from the link that I will leave in the description below. So without further ado, let's get right into these tips. The first thing that you want to do before even putting pen to paper is to research the courses that you want to apply for and their respective universities. Make sure that you really want to study this subject further. Make sure that you really have a passion for it and make sure that the university suits all your needs. The biggest mistake that you could make is to apply for a course or university that you have no interest in pursuing. Make up a list of all courses that you would enjoy and all the universities. After you have figured this out, and you have figured out where exactly you want to apply to, go to the website of your top choice university and just search for your desired course. In my case, that would be mathematics at the University of Oxford. Somewhere around this page, you should find a tiny little section called something in the lines of what are tutors looking for? From here, you can extract some key terms that will be exactly what you want to structure your personal statement around. So as you can see here, in my case, those would be a candidate's potential to succeed on the course. They also recommend that candidates challenge themselves with maths beyond their curriculum, question their own understanding and take advantage of any available extension material. And lastly, a candidate's potential to think imaginatively, deeply, and in a structured manner about the patterns of mathematics. These would be exactly the things that I would want to structure my essay around. I want that every single one of the activities that I have written in my statement to reflect at least one of these things. If you want to go even further, you can also look at some related courses and what the corresponding web pages have to say. For example, in my case, I have the Mathematics and Computer Science course from which I could extract the following qualities. Strong mathematical ability, the ability to work and think independently, the capacity to absorb and use new ideas. So you should make a list of all of those on a piece of paper or onto a Word document and you are good to go and start drafting your personal statement. There are also some kind of general things that tutors are looking for into a personal statement, regardless of the university that you are applying to, or maybe even the course that you are applying to. From now on, I'm going to talk strictly about maths, as this is the subject that I applied for, but all of those tips that I'm going to talk about apply to other subjects as well. So the tutors are interesting in getting to know your interests in your subject of choice, so your statement should answer the following more general questions. What sparked your interest in maths and why do you want to study maths? Which are the topics or areas of maths that made you want to study it further and expand your knowledge even beyond the level of the classroom? Why are you a good fit for a degree in maths? What qualifies you? Do you have a mindset or personality that helps you achieve great things in maths? Also, did you do any further readings? Is there any maths topic that you have learned in school that is adapted to university level maths or does it lead to any interesting areas of maths? And lastly, what do you expect to gain out of your university experience? You need to bear in mind what kind of universities you are applying to. That is, are they more academic-based or more of a liberal arts type of schools? 
For example, if you are applying to Oxford or Cambridge, that means that your statement should be at the very least 70% academic and to focus less on extracurricular activities. In fact, some admissions tutors from Oxford go as far as to say that they don't look at all at any extracurricular activities that are not related to the course that you have applied for. For example, they don't look at sports, musical achievements and so on. However, they are aware that you are also applying to some other places, some other universities and courses that would probably require you to write something completely different in your personal statement. So they allow some short one or two paragraphs about your other interests rather than maths. They also know that some of the students don't really enjoy talking about or writing about maths and they would much rather spend their time doing some maths, showcasting their problem-solving abilities and their strong mathematical ability. And that's why they put a lot more focus on their admissions exams and on their interviews. You also want to have a clear structure. So that means that each paragraph needs to have its own little purpose. It needs to reflect something different about yourself, something that you haven't discussed previously. Also, please, and I am definitely begging you, avoid using cliches. So don't start off your personal statement by writing something in the lines of for as long as I can remember, I wanted to be a mathematician or ever since I was a kid, I wanted to study maths. They are overly used and are really, really vague so they don't really show something that unique about you. You would much rather fill, uh, fill out those words by including a concrete example of encountering maths when you were little or any kind of personal experience regarding mathematics. Also, avoid using fancy words or metaphors except maybe for your introductory paragraph, but I will talk about it a bit later because the word limit is tight. And if you are not applying for a subject where writing is an essential part, such as English, then they are definitely not essential. Brainstorm as many ideas as possible. Again, grab a sheet of paper or open a blank word document and dump everything related to math that you have done, all your accomplishments or the topics that you fancy, everything that shows your personality, all your readings. Yeah, I mean, you get the point now. So your first paragraph should be the introduction paragraph. It's technically the only part of your essay where you can and maybe even should allow yourself to be a bit more poetical, to use a bit of a more metaphorical language. You need to talk more in general about what maths means to you and what is there about mathematics that fascinates you. You should also include specific things about yourself, your personality and your mindset that make you attracted to mathematics. For example, analytical thinking, being a rational person, always striving to create and absorb new ideas, and so on. Your second paragraph should essentially include your top achievements in mathematics. So those would be any kind of competitions, contests, mathematical camps, online activities, basically anything that qualifies you to be a math student, and show them why you are good at doing maths. You can make this paragraph have an action effect type of structure. So what I mean by this is just go back to your list of qualities they are looking for and include them specifically in your essay. So for example, you can say something like, my experience with these competitions made my intellectual curiosity rise way above the level of the classroom and developed my ability to work and think independently. You can use this structure throughout your whole essay if you want, because doing so makes them see very easily and clearly that you can tick off all of the things that they are looking for in an applicant. Your third and maybe even fourth paragraph should include unique things that make you stand out from the rest of the other applicants. So this would be any type of work experiences, tutoring, published articles, further math courses you took, anything problem-solving related, further readings like books or articles, and exactly what areas of math you find the most interesting. Write briefly about them, but make sure that you know how to expand on them in an interview setting. Make sure you are able to talk more in depth about your, let's say, tutoring experience or about any book that you have read. By the way, Fermat's Last Theorem is the most stereotypical book in math that there is out there, but it's still a really, really good one, to be honest. 
Just don't focus only on this book if you really want to include it in your personal statement. In your fifth paragraph, you can include your extracurricular activities that are somehow or maybe not even at all related to maths. Just make sure you write something that suggests a connection between them and mathematics. For example, you can write something in the lines of these activities made maths come alive for me in ways that I found really personal. In order to just show this connection between these little things, extracurricular things and mathematics. You can include very briefly anything ranging from sports and what you have learned from doing them. For example, your ability to cope under pressure, leadership and communication skills and so on, debating, volunteering, any work experiences. This shows that you are a well-rounded student, which again shows that you are not afraid to go outside of your comfort zone and are always able to try new things and ideas, which is actually some of the qualities that they were looking for in the first place. Lastly, the sixth paragraph should be your conclusion. It should be quite short and you need to briefly touch on what you hope to gain from your university experience. For example, you may want to develop yourself as a mathematician, a leader or a friend. Put everything you wrote above in a compelling sentence that should be your last line of your personal statement. For example, something like, I strongly believe that my desire and drive to accomplish and continue accomplishing have and will lead me to success. By the way, all of these examples that I'm giving you are taken from my personal statement and you can find all of these in the complete essay in the video that, that I have talked about um, at the beginning of this video. This actually brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful and you can adopt some of these tips into your own personal statement. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. You can also follow me on Instagram for more content if you feel like it. And yeah, I wish you the best of luck with your application process and your university journey. And I really hope to see you all in my next video. But until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waste time right below.